What is happening? Welcome back to Spenny Moor Town, and it is time for Banbury. We are already in October. We are sitting in fifth place, nine points off the top, which I know seems a lot, but the two teams at the top have got a stupid amount of money in comparison to us. But let's jump straight in. Banbury a day, and I'll explain why when we get into it. As you can see, Banbury a day, and this is because person I like, my friend Megzy, she's doing a save with Banbury and it's very frustrating because they're terrible. Sorry Banbury, but you are terrible. You're probably going to win now, so that's upsetting. Well, as you can see in the league, we are on 20 points after a little bit of a stutter. You will show you that shortly in the schedule. But file at the top of 29, then Dalit and, and then Blythe. So, you know, from, from third down to like seventh, it is all to play for. We've got a game in hand over Dalit as well. So, you know, we could be four points behind by the end of the day. Glenn Taylor, 15 goals. He's a, he's a monster, isn't he? He's just an absolute monster. But we've had an absolute just nightmare, really. <laughs> we've had a nightmare. Farsley, we lost 2-1. Failed, we lost 2-1. A red card there. This game, frustrating. We didn't really create at all, which for this team is different because I have... We, we, I was playing the, the fluid counter-attack and I was like, well, we shouldn't be sitting back here. So I have made this. Custom, much shorter passing, focus down the left and right. Distribute of fullbacks, counter, counter press, high defensive line, high press, press more often, and then prevent the short goalkeeper distribution. I decided we need to get in people's faces. So what we've done is we have been people on wind but not reaching the FA Cup as if it's not their fault as well. It's fine though. <laughs> we were getting into today's game. I'm feeling extremely positive to be fair. As you can see, we brought in Kit Elliott. So we did need somebody, but he's not exactly set the world on fire. So we'll ignore that and we will just jump straight into this. I'm not sure how this will go, but obviously it's short updates until we can do something and really announce a big player or a really nice run of results. But we are going to go into today's game. We are at home against Banbury. You would expect us to really pick up on our run of form here and you know, make the most of it. But you never know because we are completely hit and miss. Ledger, with a throw in a pain. This is not a nice camera angle. There we go. Duxbury. Three minutes in, we were already applying some pressure to the Banbury box. That just sounded nice. Duxbury to Cummins. Cummins still a liability at the back, but I haven't got nobody better. I mean, he's better than everyone I've got, but he's just an absolute liability. Glenn Taylor. Come on, boy. 16th goal of the season. Five minutes in, Spenny Moore 1, Banbury 0. And that is what you love to see. That man is a monster in this division. I mean, he's, yeah, I mean, he's probably a monster in the division above, but I've never tried him there, so... Maybe next year. <laughs> um, Aya Payne puts it straight across and Taylor smashes it. We love to see it. Naya Payne, by the way, is a god. He's so, so good. But they're playing, they're playing the, the one I was playing before, really. The 3 3. 1 2. Oh. Anderson, ball across. Naya Payne. What a save from Radcliffe there, by the way. Really, really stopping that shot really well. But this will put us up a third if we get a result here. So we'll see how this goes. Duxbury ball in. Back post. Taylor again. Can't make it a brace. But opening 15 minutes have been all Spenny Moor Town. There you go. 3-3-2-2. Three, three, two, two. Duxbury in. Taylor cannot make it a brace again. He's had two free headers at the back post. Has not managed to get any of them in. Will he find his range for the third? Duxbury ball in the same place. Come on, boys. It works. Taylor's a god. <laughs> He's got a brace. 20 minutes. Glenn Taylor at the back post. It took him three attempts. You really would have thought Banbury would have marked him. I mean, two people did go. I mean, who's this? Landers went extremely late. But Glenn Taylor, he does what he does best. He puts that ball in the back of the net to make it 2-0. And they are yet to have a shot. Poor Banbury. Poor, poor Banbury. I want to change this to the league table. I like looking at the league table. Currently in fourth... Here have been above us, Fylde and Dalit and Cousin Dawson to Ledger. Can we get another one? Ledger to Payne. Back to Cousin Dawson. Wheatley. Ramshaw. Ball to Taylor. He's not going to get there. It's a bit spare. Oh! Yeah. Brown doesn't hear him coming and Taylor gets his hat trick. His 36th minute hat trick. We love to see it. Spenny 3, Banbury 0. And how has Brown switched off so severely there? Ramshaw, a terrible pass, really. But Brown just... Maybe it's wet though, isn't it? He might have lost control of it because it's wet. The ball got stuck on the ground and he just hasn't, hasn't registered that. But 3-0. The final shot though. They've had three shots now. Three shots. It's 3-0. Oh, 
I don't want to skip this way. I'm, I'm happy so far. I really want to take off Glenn Taylor. This looks like a game where I might, I'm going to try and get Kit Elliott some goals. I do want Kit Elliott to, um, you know, he's got a hat trick. You got a hat trick. I'm happy with a hat trick. I want Kit Elliott to try and get a little bit of confidence in case we need to use him in an attacking midfield role. But Anderson puts a ball in. Back post, Payne can't win the header. Wheatley. Oh, Wheatley with a terrible pass. Landers again picks it up. Landers, he's still going. He is still going. Puts it across to Rizzullo. Rizzullo, you need shooting, mate. Why is he not passed that ball? That'd been 3-1. He saw that was just a greedy thing. If you're going to do that, you need need to make that count. You just kind of have to. Rizzullo again there. Oh, Cummins picks it out lovely. Cummins on a yellow. I'm going to probably take him off. I don't want to risk that one. We'll put Jack Lee on. Anderson, a Ramshaw. Preston. Preston has a go. Goes that left-hand side. We, do you know Glenn Taylor, I've took him off and um, it has cost us. I admit that has cost us. It's fine. It's 3-0. It hasn't cost us a, a result, but it's cost us a good performance has turned to um, a questionable one. Sonny Graham come on defensive main for the three substitutions with 10 minutes remaining. Sonny Graham, obviously signed in the last uh, episode, hasn't really set the word of light, but I'm enjoying this so far. 3-0 against Banbury is what we need. We are in fourth place. All we need this season is a playoff, remember? It would be lovely to get a promotion. Get up there, get an automatic. It would be lovely, lovely to see. There we go, 3-0. We were terrible after Taylor went off, but that is to be expected because that man is an absolute hero. 3-0, 9.7 match rating for Taylor. And what does that put him on this season? That's the question, isn't it? I got the league, because I imagine he's, yeah, 15. Then Mark Beck, who also was a cheat code on this, in second place. The same with the average ratings. I mean, honestly, these two, if he, these two up front together in this league would be absolutely vile. I mean, how much are you getting paid? 450 a week. That's not even nothing. What? What? Get Mark Beck, guys. He wants no money. He just doesn't want paying. Fair play to that man. <laughs> but here we are. We're in fourth place and we will press on with this league. I want to keep going, really. I want to see how far I can get. Might come back for Gloucester, which is obviously in five games' time. It was time to really settle into this formation. At two 3 0 wins on the bounce. Glenn Taylor getting five in two. I'm, I'm feeling good about this. I think this formation is a winner. But I will see you next time. Thank you for watching. Like, subscribe, comment down below, and I'll see you next time.